Welcome to MMA's Guide to the Accordion Card, a quick reference tool for nurses. This card was designed to give you the tools and references you need to respond to unsafe or short staffing situations, both at the moment and after your shift is completed. Members asked for specifics regarding statutes that protected them and citations from regulatory agencies highlighting expectations of the nursing profession. Please use this reference card as a guide to protect yourself, your license, and most importantly, your patient. Please note that the sources are specific to Minnesota statute and may not apply to nurses in other states. Just think, if you and your coworkers completed all these steps when you experienced unsafe staffing, do you think things would change? On this page, you'll find the different sections of the accordion card listed and ordered in which you found them. On this section, you'll find the QR code. The QR code is a handy dandy device that takes you right to the Concern for Safe Staffing form. If you have an Apple phone, all you need to do is center your camera on the QR code and it'll take you directly to the Concern for Safe Staffing form. If you have an Android phone and you have a QR code app downloaded onto your phone, it will work the same way. If you have an Android phone and you don't have a QR app, you can find them whatever service you use for your phone. If you don't want to go through the QR code, go ahead and go back to the MNA website at mnnurses.org. And right at the top, you'll see a link to the Concern for Safe Staffing form. Nurses should document their actions and their supervisor's response using this form every time you find yourself in an unsafe situation, even if it does get resolved. Remember in nursing, we know if it's not documented, it wasn't done. It is each nurse's profession and ethical responsibility to say no and reject a staffing assignment or staffing situations that put patients at risk. This section provides an example of the Nurse Practice Act that explains a nurse's responsibility to provide safe care. You and only you are responsible for the care you deliver. If you do not have the resources or training to deliver safe care, you should reject the assignment or task. This section of the card lists the clause of the Nurse Practice Act statute or Minnesota law, which explains how you can be disciplined by the Minnesota Board of Nursing for failure to perform professional nursing, including accepting assignments that are unsafe for you to perform. There's a list of reasons the Minnesota Board of Nursing may take action against your license. The one provided here is specific to nursing practice and staffing. Remember, a negative outcome doesn't actually have to occur for you to be disciplined. Did you know there's a law in Minnesota that protects you from retaliation from your employer if you refuse overtime because you're too sick or too tired to continue? Upon completion of your scheduled shift, if there is a staffing need and you're too tired or too sick to accept those additional hours beyond your regularly scheduled shift and you state patient care would be at risk, the employer cannot harass bully, threaten, or force you to stay those additional hours. The employer may and likely will ask you, but the law states that you do not have to if patient care would be at risk. This section gives you an example of some of the language as well as the statute number. Okay, nurses, as soon as you get this accordion file cards, it's suggested that you fill this page out. Fill it out with your manager and your m and representative phone numbers. That way, when you're in a situation of unsafe staffing, you have the phone numbers available to you at the time. So when you're in a situation where it's unsafe, let your steward and or your chair for m and know, and then start calling right up the chain of command. Remember, managers can't fix a problem if they don't know it's a problem. When staffing is too short and could compromise patient care, you must notify someone who can fix it. Call right on up this chain here. Refusing can be difficult. Refusing an unsafe assignment or refusing to do a task or procedure you're not trained to complete is hard. But it is your professional responsibility to do so. Nurses often struggle with what verbiage to use when refusing, 
so this card provides you with the sample statement you can use to refuse an unsafe assignment. Be very clear, you're not refusing to work, you are refusing the unsafe assignment. Clearly state why it's unsafe and ask for notification when the staffing problem has been resolved. Nurses can be disciplined by the Minnesota Board of Nursing for accepting an unsafe assignment and failing to deliver care. Generally, the board will review situations in which a nurse accepts an assignment and fails to fulfill the assignment or appropriately transfer the assignment. The primary concern for the board is whether the actions of the nurse compromise patient safety. If a nurse has not accepted a patient care assignment, the conduct would not likely be subject to action by the board. Sometimes, managers or nursing supervisors threaten nurses with patient abandonment if a nurse refuses a patient in an unsafe staffing situation or if the nurse refuses to stay for overtime. This section provides the general rule for how the Minnesota Board of Nursing looks at those situations. An employer cannot take action against a nurse's license in Minnesota. Only the Board of Nursing can. Please see the Minnesota Board of Nursing's website for further explanation on this, on this issue. Remember, you cannot abandon something you never had. In other words, you cannot abandon a patient you never assumed care for. The second section that refers to patient abandonment is an arbitration ruling the Minnesota Nurses Association 1 regarding a charge of patient abandonment. Consider adding what these examples are supposed to do for the nurse. It's to push back if the manager or supervisor accuses them of patient abandonment, right? It's to provide them with the true definition of patient abandonment. In other words, it's more about a nurse accepting an assignment she can't deliver care for and getting charged with patient abandonment because she couldn't. Managers and supervisors claim a nurse is abandoning if they don't accept the patient when you can't be charged with patient abandonment if you never took the report or, in other words, never had the patient to begin with. Finally, the employer can only report you to the Board of Nursing. They can't charge you with patient abandonment. The OHFC, or the Office of Health Facility Complaints, is a division of the Minnesota Department of Health, which investigates reports and complaints about health facilities regarding patient care in Minnesota hospitals, specifically those licensed by the Minnesota Department of Health. As mandated reporters, nurses are responsible to report negative outcomes, including those related to short staffing, to the OHFC. This section of the card provides a list of those patient care concerns the Office of Health Facility Complaints expects nurses to report when a negative patient outcome occurs. Please contact your MA steward if a complaint needs to be filed. Joint Commission, formerly known as JACO, is an agency which certifies many hospitals in Minnesota and has specific requirements regarding the Chief Nursing Officer and the Vice President of Patient Care Services. One of these requirements, or expectations, is a standard and element of performance explaining the CNO or VP of Patient Care is ultimately responsible for any nursing policies that are implemented. This can include staffing policies and or staffing plans that are implemented. If staffing plans or shift to shift staffing puts patients at risk, the nurses at the highest level within the hospital system are responsible. This card provides the standard and element of performance listed in the Joint Commission Handbook. Please contact MA if there's an incident where patient care is at risk because of staffing, and it should be reported to the Joint Commission. Please check out our blog for more information, and we'd love to see you at a class. Here's the link for the website to sign up for class. Please contact your m and steward and our chairs if you haven't received your unsafe staffing accordion card. And also, please let us know if you have any comments, concerns, or questions. This has been Jackie, Carrie, and Christina with your tutorial on the MA Quick Reference Card or Accordion Card. Thanks, Thanks shifts, everyone! everyone.